What's up? This is Tremendous. You're listening to the station that rocks the nation. Word on the street radio with DJ 2020 in the house. I'm waiting for this moment. Now I can raise you as my equal. Together, there's nothing we can do. This is DJ 2020, and I would like to welcome everybody to Word on the Streets. This is the segment that I call a word. This is where I interview up and coming, emerging underground artists that I call street heat. So that people can relate to them and get a chance to learn more about what you about and they can tell you about what they about. Today I got in the building, I got my man Tremendous in the building. Tremendous say what up? Yo, what up, what up, what up, y'all? So we're gonna sit back, we're gonna chit chat a little for like next 15 minutes to tell you what he's got going on. So we're gonna start up with the first question, tell people a little bit about where you grew up. Um, I grew up in the South Bronx, man, South Side <clears throat> or the Bronx, man, Cypress, Third Avenue, Brook Ave. And what was your musical background like? Musical background, um, started off listening to Run DMC, to LL Cool J, early 90s down to the Locks, Mace, Nas, you know, so that's, that's, those are some of my, you know, music heavy brand. hitters right there. There's some heavy hitters right there. Yeah. Those are like your influences. Yeah. That's yep. what's up. That's what's up. And when you actually picked up the mic and decided to rap, like, what time was that? Like, when did you decide you was going to become a rapper? Um, I started that, mm, let's say, late 99, early 2000. I started, you know what I mean, decided I was going to pick up the mic and just start, you know, I was rhyming a lot with my peoples in the staircases and stuff like that. But, you know, after I heard myself in the studio one time, I, you know, I decided that's what I wanted to do. That's what's up. That's what's up. A lot of, a lot of the studio can bring the future out of a lot of people because that's where you learn if you're going to be whatever you trying to be or not, you know? Um, how would you describe your musical style? Musical style is um, very versatile, man. You know, I got some gangster style, some party tracks, you know what I'm saying? But overall, it's very versatile, unique style, you know? So it's like you like straight across the board. It's, there's, there's nothing you won't try to tackle. Yeah, nothing, yup. So you just open for whatever. Who are you currently collaborating with? Um, Right now, I'm collaborating with a lot of cats, man. Underground cats on their way up, coming in, you know what I mean? Singers, all of that. You anybody, know I mean? anybody specific? Um, right now, I got a joint called Trump Money with an up and coming rap out the Bronx named Ricky Bats. He's popping right now, he's doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? What would be your dream place to perform in? Mm, dream place of performing. Um, I would like to perform in Miami, man. <laughs> <laughs> Any specific part of Miami? Any specific you know, place? South Beach. South Beach. Right there on South Beach, all the ass <laughs> yeah. and everything. Yeah, man. That's that was, that would be nice. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, any 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 label prospects? Or are you trying to get with anybody in specific, or are you just doing what you do? Um, yeah, I'm open to record labels if the right deal come. You know what I mean? I'm open to do business with some record labels, joint yeah. ventures and stuff like that. That's cool. You know what I mean? If they offer the right deal, 360 or whatever, like what's going on nowadays, like it just got to be right. You know what I mean? If I do that. Okay. Where can we find your music at? Um, you can find my music on SoundCloud iTunes, Twitter, everywhere, everywhere online, man. Everywhere you listen to music online, YouTube, Reverb Nation, all of those spots. That's what's up. That's a good connection. So y'all know y'all can find his stuff right in all the links he just gave y'all. You know, if you want to hear a little bit more of Tremendous. Describe a real life situation that inspired you to write. Like what kind of, what song you got that was inspired by a real life situation? That's good. I got a song called Better Than They Look. You know what I mean? That was a real life situation. You know, what I went through in the street. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, another one is called, um, what's, what's another one I got, man? I got so many songs, man. Damn. That's a good one right there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm going to throw them at you. I'm going to throw them at you because I told you this is what people want to know. I took a poll. I took a poll of questions. One day I was on Facebook just to just yeah. take a little time. I, I went on Facebook and I said, if you could see yourself as an interviewer, what would you like to know from an artist? And they sent me back so many questions. And I sat back and I picked out the best questions that there was to get. Yeah. And then I came up with the word, and now you see it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, what was that one again? Like, it was, it was just basically about what real life situations. You were talking about better than they look. You said that was inspired by a real life situation. 
So then yeah. you said you had another one. I got you? another one called What I Live For. You know what I mean? Talked about when I was in jail and stuff, man. That was a real life situation. This yeah. is like a jail song. You know what I mean? It's off one of my mixtapes and stuff. But it's a lot of it's a lot of my songs that I got like that. You know what I mean? Okay, that, that's what's cool. That's what's up. Um, what would your life be like without music? Mm, that's a good question. I know. I know. <laughs> I like, I don't, I can't, it's hard to picture that because it'd probably be boring without some music. You know what I'm saying? Not listening to no music. I don't know. That's where really, really good. good. Where do you see yourself though? But if you had to picture it, if you had to picture because remember, I got stuck with this question too. If you had to picture it, just picture your life without music and where would you be? Like, what would you, what else would you be doing? Would you be a sanitation worker? Would you be a cop? <laughs> what you think? Like, what would you be if there was no music? I had a guy once tell me, he said if there was no music, he was suicide and stuff. Now, I think, well, I do that anyway. I think I would be, I'd just be feeding my mind more if it wasn't no music. I'd be reading more. I read books now, but I'd probably be reading mad more books or something like that. <laughs> I, feel you. I, feel I think you if it was that. just no music, this, you know, put yourself there. If it was really no music, what else would I do? It'd be more, me personally, I think I would feed my mind more, more than I am. But think be, about it. When I say there's no music, so we got to really look at the truth of the matter, though. We gotta look at the truth. If there was no music, then there would be no musical influence. Cause yeah. music would yeah, not exist. That. Yeah, that's hard. So what would a nigga be doing if there was no if music was not in the picture? Oh my god, life would be boring. It wouldn't be no clubs. Nobody would be think about that. That's a that's yeah. a hard one. Yeah. If it was no music. If wow. No music to influence nothing. I can't even imagine how it would I, I could imagine what it was. Coming. No Christmas music, no nothing. I can't. That's just man. Life would be like bad. I guess boring, man. We'd be robots. We'd be robots. <laughs> walking around, yeah. Do do do. Just walking It'd around. It'd probably be way more crimes out there too with no music. Yeah, cause music. <laughs> music do calm a lot of motherfuckers down. I, I agree with that. With music. Thank it's God for music. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. What makes your style different? What makes your music unique? Mm. I think my versatility, the way I drop it on songs, the way I switch up, you know what I'm saying? The way I'm versatile and, and, and talk about different things. Because you hear what's <laughs> going on now. You, you see a lot of people are kind of upset. Some are with it and some are not, but the majority of people are not with it because they say everybody sound the same. Everybody sound like Future and all of Everybody got the, the trap beat. Everybody. That's what I mean by, I, I know why you're different, because I listen to some of your stuff, so I know why you're different, because you, you raise the edge hardcore. Yeah. Uh, all these other guys, they, they come in, if you had to talk to them brothers, if you had a chance, if you had an audience of them cats sitting here right now, every last new trap guy, what would you tell them? Due to the fact, based upon the fact that they're all being labeled as being the same. It's crazy that we say that. I would just, I don't know, because some of the trap guys is working for them more than the guys that, you know what I mean, that really work hard. <laughs> That's the thing that bugs me out about it. So, if you're looking at it from a business point, I don't know. Some of them I can congratulate because they making money off it, but... <laughs> That's the business That's the standpoint. That's the business standpoint. I can understand that anything high that's making money. If I put a t-shirt out there with yeah. a picture of a sock on it and people mm -hmm. buy it, I'm going to keep pushing them t-shirts. Yeah, but... But how long does that, that last? last? That's the point. You know what I mean? Right. I think that'll end at some point. What happened to, like, real songs? Right. Like, like, like Tupac's Brenda Got a Baby or... You know what I mean? Real conceptual songs. Like. Right. That that's what I'm saying. <laughs> the, do you find them songs conceptual or are they just nah, overnight I success I ain't know. type thing? I think a lot of them is just overnight success. They just getting in. <laughs> getting in and that's getting it. out. So that but we used to say that back in the hustle days, we would say get that money and get out and a lot of cats got not because they stayed in with something that was dying out so I see the same effect when it comes to that type of music them guys out there killing them. everybody really honestly everybody sound the same and and I'm one to say that because I am a radio head and I, I do spin on six or seven stations you know oh I want to give myself a quick congratulations y'all can find me on tune in now download that tune in app because now you can take me any any station I play on just, just hit word on the streets unplugged, then you can find me. But back to what I was saying, 
Yeah, I told these guys, I mean, why would you put yourself in a situation of something that's not going to last long if this game is about longevity, if this game is about having that classic hit? Why do you think these young guys, and, and I know it's a stupid question now at this point. Yeah. Why do you think them young guys, is in it? we know it's for the money, but if you don't see nothing at the end of that rainbow, if there's no light at the end of that rainbow, they, why do you think they just do it? Do you see it more as a notoriety thing? Like they just doing it just to be relevant in their hood? Yeah, I think some of them are doing that, man. Just to stay relevant. Yeah, yeah. stay relevant in Stay hood. relevant right in their hood, man. Because you don't see no future. There's no Kendrick Lamar's coming out this batch of new guys that's out here right now. Nah, it's always one out of the few bunch, though. That's I'm the really thing not. I learned about that. <laughs> yeah. Out of every nine rappers, at least one or two going to get lucky. That's true. <laughs> that's true. Just like the <laughs> rap. Big up to A-Buggy. I give it to A-Buggy because... Yeah. Because at least he came out with a different swag, but to me he still got that same style. But he, he, he came out with a different swag. He, he sang in the chicks, and he you could tell most of the songs he, he was versatile. Yeah, he, right. he had a lot of songs. Yeah, so I, I kind of have to respect, like you said, I have to respect some of the little cats that's out there. It's just that, I, I, and I throw names, so I don't care. Uh, it's like I don't like the extension. I, I, I listen to his songs and, and I just feel dog ain't going nowhere. I Extension? Mean, yeah. I, I don't feel little little Uzi Vert a little bit. I don't see no I don't see him five or ten years from now. Um, little Pump, Gucci Gang, all that. I don't see all that stuff. Him disappearing no time soon. Yeah. I don't see him because because he is versatile and he do experiment. You know, do you experiment? Do you see some of your songs as like like an experiment? Yeah, sometimes I experiment on different beats, some trap beats, you know what I mean, but hard style with my style, you know what I'm saying? I experiment to see where it's at. Yeah, 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 just to see where it's at. I experiment. Nah, nah, I can't. I'll probably do like one, one the most or two. <laughs> Where can we find your music? Um, like I said, you can follow me on the ma on the major site at Instagram at Tremendous the Great One, SoundCloud tr um, Tremendous the Great One, um, Facebook Tremendous the Great One, man, YouTube Tremendous the Great One, iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify. Just Google that name, Tremendous the Great One. That's what's up. That's what's up. Have you performed? Have you uh, been performing outside the city? Um, nah. Lately, nah. I've done um. Perform Black Horn 51 in the city. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get out outside of the city now. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Okay, so what we gonna do now? We're gonna put on a song by Tremendous. Y'all know how y'all do. Y'all hit me up with the feedback. Tell me what y'all think about it. And when we return, we're gonna come back with Tremendous. So let's put this Tremendous joint on. Why don't you introduce the song? Right now, this one of my new singles out right now. Come, it's called All About the Money. All about the money, y'all, on the word. Word of the streets, radio on drug. This is how we do. Right now, it's all about the money, money. I get you all faded, damn thing funny. Yeah, I said right now, it's all about the money, money. I get you all faded, damn thing funny. Tell them haters I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm facing my fears. I ain't number run, never. I'm number one, oh, number two. Yeah, I said I'm number one, oh, number two. Right now, it's all about the money. The money. I need a mansion and a bitch on 20s. Yeah. For a mail, I leave your brains in the mailbox. I've been in jail, so I ain't scared of a cell block. Nah, it's time to make these in the streets again. You leave. I'm hot, always got a trick under, under my sleeve. Always. I'm still writing after all these years. Yeah. They thought I was finished with me. I'm here. I'm Broke here, my heart nigga. when I couldn't get the radio to bump me. Yeah. I spent thousands on this ravish monthly. Month. Peeps like, oh, okay, get back in the lab. I'm back New single you. every month. Now, nigga, playing tag. Yeah. Can't be around nothing but winners. Nothing but I'm winners. getting money now with lobster for dinner. Yeah, snake in his head on my cover. Hey, hey, they gon' fuck around and make me put the gun up. Right now it's all about the money, money. I get you all faded, damn thing funny. Yeah, I said right now it's all about the money, money. I get you all faded, damn thing funny. Tell them haters I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm facing my fears. I ain't number run, never. I'm number one. Oh, number two. Yeah, I said I'm number one. Oh, number two. The instincts but never match my bars. Never flow out of this world like I'm coming from Mars. Yeah. Get a deal that'll make everybody wake up. Everybody. A white phantom and some ice from Jacob. Tell them. 
I told Sway I was next yeah. Shady 45, they gon' give me my respect Watch em. My Instagram got him niggas hate me hey, hey, Everybody hey. rap, but a lot of niggas fake it yeah. Ain't nothing else to do but stick up the game stick it Put up. a few tapes out, get up my name, my name. You ain't hot, the people gon' ignore you yeah. Make some real money and the bitches gon' adore you All of I'm hotter than never before Ever. They don't sign me, then I'm starting a war yeah. Anybody can get it, anybody Hollow clip straight through your fitting Right now it's all about the money, money. I get you all fake and damn thing funny yeah. I said right now it's all about the money, money. I get you all fake and damn thing funny Tell them haters I'm coming, I'm, coming. I'm facing my fears, I ain't number one Never. I'm number one, oh number two yeah. I said I'm number one, oh number two Yo, what up? We back. Welcome back to Word on the Streets Unplugged. This is the segment I call a word. Y'all just heard Tremendous' new joint all about the money. Y'all know what to do. Hit me with that feedback. Tell me what y'all think. So, that was your joint. What was your inspiration behind that song right there? Man, money. That's what my inspiration was about, I mean, about, you can man. tell from the title all about <laughs> so, My that- inspiration was money, man, because, you know, I like money. You know what I mean? A lot of us like money, but that was my inspiration, you know, with the whole song. Did that come at a time of, of wanting money or you already got money? You know, I'm not trying to tell you cocky. I just want to know, you know, is weird, like, was that a hungry day or was that just a regular good day and you just felt like writing about money? Nah, it was just, nah, right now, like, you know what I mean? That just came from, you know, my um, situations basically just, you know what I mean, needing more money too, not having a lot of money, just basically saying, and right now it's just all about getting this money right now because I got a lot of situations that I needed. <laughs> That's where I came from you with that one. <laughs> and everybody can't front. Everybody's starving in some places. They won't admit it. Cause I know a lot of people that walk around with a smile on their face. But trust yeah. me, some of them be hurting, they, they just don't let you see that side. So I know where I know where you're coming from with that with that statement there. I mean, are you affiliated with any performance rights organizations? Yeah, I'm a um, I'm a member of ASCAP. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's writer and publisher, or just writer. Now I'm actually just got my publishing company now, so you know now I'm a publisher. You know, that's got my up. own publishing company, Girl Die Publishing. Are you gonna be <laughs> trying to publish any other artists? I mean, like new, you know, the new cats, the young boy. You gonna bring them in? Cause you know. You can do that too. You can come off as a record label. Yeah. If you bring cats in and you publish the song, because that's basically with the whole record label. Yeah. I'm gonna teach y'all something like that one day on YouTube. I'm gonna tell y'all about the game. Yeah, definitely. If, if, if I'm, I'm looking for soldiers, you know what I mean, real serious artists out there to join this movement. If you know if they worth it, you know what I'm saying. Even if, they, if they come with the Gucci gang, yeah. Gucci gang, Gucci gang. I mean, <laughs> I'm looking for hits, man. If it's a hit, if you wanna get down with this girl or that thing. If it's a hit, man, we work with it. And who'll be handling your, your daily business activities? Well, right now, I'm in the process of getting new people to handle that. Right now, I'm handling a lot of that myself. (laughs) Do you find that as a challenge? Um, In some areas, yeah. (laughs) Because you ain't get it fully in yet to see that it is. See, me, a person being involved in the music game on all all sides. Let me me say that on all sides. This thing is worse than kids. When you're trying to give birth to something, it's an idea from your head. And when you're trying to give birth to something like that, it takes a lot of work. So for all you cats out there that think y'all just going to rap, go to the studio, y'all spending money, y'all spending money going to the studio, and y'all spending time writing rhymes, stop. Stop. Because if you ain't ready to go the whole distance with this, you might as well stop right now. McDonald's is hiring. UPS is hiring. You take the post office test. You could be delivering my mail. You know what I'm saying? Bringing my checks. You could be doing all of that. Stop. Because I always inspire the youth to do what they got to do. But if you ain't in this for the long haul, then why are you doing it? Is that correct for me to say? Yeah. Because you got to be all in this. You can't just come in this part. Wait. You can't say I'm going to go write a rhyme, I'm going to rhyme on a beat, and tomorrow I'm going to be on Epic Records. Okay, you might get on Epic Records, but what are they sticking you up for? Because you don't know the game. You don't know the game. You think it's just record out in the street and that's it. No, it's a lot of money that comes behind these things. And if you don't know, they getting rich while you still living the project. 
always always remember stuff like that. I always try to educate the youth on things like that. And, and that's what I'm saying. Is that gonna be a big thing that you would spend time doing with your artists when you bring your artists? Are you gonna talk to your artists? Are you gonna tell them the real side of the game or are you just gonna hustle and eat? Now I'm gonna I'm explain to them, you know what I mean, what it is and you know what they're getting themselves into. Right. When that time come, I'm not gonna just you know bring people in like that, you know. Because that's how that's how the industry doing it right now. They just snatching them off the street, getting them quick one hit wonders, and throwing them right back in the project. <laughs> that's what they doing. That's what that 360 about. Yeah. You understand 360? I understood 360 to be a circle. <laughs> so you're gonna start at this point, and you're gonna end up right back at that same point. <laughs> because a lot of cats don't know their business, man. So, what is your target audience? Who who are you coming at? Um, I'm I'm, a, I'm 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 I do it for the ladies, you know what I mean? For the for the for the kids, everybody. My audience is anybody. I, you know what I mean? I got fans that's 40 years old, and I got fans that's 18 years old. So, you know who? So there's it, no um, restriction. It's no restriction on what I, you know what I mean? What I'm doing, you know? Right. right. So you got some basically you got some for everybody. Like yeah. I don't want the kids listening to the records where I'm killing 80 niggas. But then I got a song for y'all too, too. though. Yeah. All right. That's what I'm saying. And then for the ladies that don't care about the killing or or the little kids stuff, I got some love me shit for you. Yeah. I, I feel you. I feel you. it's cool to be that way. It's cool to be that way. When you do live performances, do you do your performance and then you leave, or you stay and show support towards the other? Now, I show support. I network. You know what I'm saying? That's most of the things I do. I, I attend a lot of events. You know what I'm saying? I'm always out at industry parties, networking with celebrities, and That's what's up. all kind of things. What well, was one of the events you could you could talk about? That what? Give me one of your greatest events that that you felt real cool about. K. Slay album release party. That was a pretty nice event. I was at. You know, what a, lot I mean? of, a lot of networking. A lot of networking. Yeah, Uncle Murder, Rich Dollars, DJ Self, you know what I'm saying? A lot a lot of people up in the building. Yeah, know? I did the same thing. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just you know attended I mean? uh, DJ Con, and, yeah. and that was crazy. We had DJ Self on the ones and twos. My yeah. man, big up to my man, Fat Fingers, you know what I'm saying? Heavy hitters. Me and him was kicking it a lot, so I, I kind of got I got inspired by him. And I'm, I'm going on 50 years old. He inspired me, and he's younger than me. But when he was telling me about how to do this and how to play this game, he, he, I realized how different it is, but then I realized how the same it is. It's just the way you come at people. You can run the same old game, but come at them with new talk. You yeah. understand? And when he was kicking it to me, you know, we had, uh, who else was up there? A uh, Dream Dog perform, that new young girl, she back. She performed, she also on Love and Hip Hop too. Dream Dog performed, um, Jacquees performed. And, and fleet DJs did they think we had a room and our room was more packed than the DJ. I'm not trying to disrespect DJ Khan, but it was empty on the right side and it was packed on the left side. Cause on the left side was our room. We was we had all little kids. We were teaching them how to DJ. Um, we had the, the parents of the little kids plus some spectators that came through. They bought a lot of fleet gear, man. Fleet classic. You made a lot of bread that night, man. Wow. Like I said, you bought a lot of fleet. Yeah, it was mad turntables in the house. We got the music rock and all of them. They was they was doing their thing. I mean, I can't knock it. And I, I'm, I'm just like you. I, I just dig networking events. I gotta get out more. I just yeah. dig. I just dig networking events like that because I feel the more you network, the more the more out there you get. Exactly, man. You know, it's, it's always good to hit them events and network. Man. That's what I'm Definitely. saying. But that's why I said, that's why I asked you earlier, I said, it's not always about the records. I don't care what record you got out. It's not about your records. It's about your business. It's who you go out there and talk to and how you stand out. People really don't care about your music. I know. They care more about you. Yeah, they care about your character. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. How you, how you, how I just had DJ Drewski from Hot 97 playing my record in the club the, the other club day. Was there. Um, we was up in Hudson Terrace downtown. That's you know up. what I'm saying? Drewski, big up. <laughs> yeah, Drewski. That's what's up. M MMVNT. So, for the last time, for the last time, because you know me, I'm a three time nigga, because there ain't no way y'all gonna tell me y'all ain't here. Where can we get your stuff back? Where can we hear Tremendous, the great one? Where can we hear? Um, yeah, like I said, follow me on Instagram at Tremendous the Great One. Go to YouTube, put in Tremendous the Great One. You'll hear a lot of my videos. Go to Spotify, follow me on there. I got albums up there, mixtapes, singles. 
you know, everywhere you can hear music online, man, you can check me out. It was nice having you here. Uh, thanks for stopping by the word. Uh, when you put out your album, slide back through again, and yeah. we'll have another interview, hopefully on a bigger scale. Um, I'm trying to get in the bigger building right now, people, you know, because I'm really trying to do this thing. But like I said, this is the word, the segment of Word on the Streets Radio Unplugged. You can find me on TuneIn. You can find me everywhere. Just just look for me. I'm the dude with the sketches on. You know where I'm at. 2020, I'm in. 2020, I'm out. Shut the fuck up. Don't be running up on me like that. What the hell is wrong with you? The mom. You want your ass all the way back to Chicago? Who are you talking to like that?